look at an interesting concept varying arrays in MongoDB. Your document can contain an array of values. Uh, let's take an example here. I am going to use this particular database wherein this is the student database. I have taken some names for students and then marks. So I have given an array of marks here. It means all the marks scored in a particular exam. Exam 1 or you can say in VIT terms CAT 1. So in CAT 1 say you have 5 subjects. So sub 5 subject marks. So like that for each student I have 5 subject marks. And uh, you give the name for the marks as the marks array. Maybe this student appeared only in three subjects, two subjects he got B part. Okay. Now the question comes, what all kinds of queries you can run on this data? Can you try all these queries? Uh, display the marks scored by student name Ram. Okay. So here I have an array of marks. So I want to query, uh, I want to see the marks alone for the student by name Ram. How to go with that? Mm -hmm db dot uh, student dot find so the name is uh, Ram. So I, I don't want to see anything else other than marks. So I can give I'll, I can suppress the ID. Okay. So this gives me all the marks put by this student. Suppose I have the list of marks, I want to find the student who has scored that. How can I find that? That is the next question, right? I have 25, 35, 45, 12, 9. Who, who is the student who has scored this mark? So how can I find that? db.student.find. It's very simple. Just uh, give marks and then you match the entire array. That is 25, 35, 45, 12, 9. Did I give? It's 25, 35, right? I have not given the right marks here. That's the problem. It's 35. 25, 35, 45, 12, 9. So Ram has scored all these marks. So you can entirely give an array and match it inside your document. It will just match an entire array with the array present in your document. <laughs> that is the exercise here. Now there's one more thing. If I change the order of the marks, will my query work? Say if I'm 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 just giving here 25, 35, 45, 12, 9. If you go and take a look at this uh, db dot student dot find, and then you can just go and take a look at this particular student Ram is marks code. So you can see here his marks are 25, 35, 45, 45, 12, 9. I'm giving it in the same order. If I change the order, will this query work? Say if I just change the order, I just put 9 here. 9, 25, 35. Then it will not work. If I change the order, it is not going to match. But then there is a way wherein we can match all the elements whether these are present in your document. There is this operator dollar all that we have to use. So now let us run the same query. We will use a dollar all and see whether this works. So I just changed the order here. Now what I am going to do is I am just going to give dollar all. So it's going to check whether all these elements, no matter in which order, is present inside my array. So when I open a parenthesis, important thing, I have to close it. So now it retrieves from. Nithya? If you give the order, it will exactly match the order. If you are not worried about the order, you have to go with dollar all. Yeah, this is another question. Display the first three marks of all students. First three subjects, what is this mark scored by all students? So here we talk about this operator called dollar slice. Slice, I think uh, you would have used in Python to write for slicing an array. So the same kind of concept here. If I give the array name, call and dollar slice and count. If count is 3, we will just fetch the first 3 elements, slice the first 3 elements in the array and display. And this is a projection. And you have to give the search field here. What is the question? Display the first 3 marks for all students. So, 
let me just go and try this db dot student dot find and uh, no criteria i want to display for all student and now the projection is what is the array name marks and uh, what is the uh, operators lies three so here you can see the first three marks scored by all these students you can just go with uh, yeah dot pretty to to see it more. So it just displays the first three marks scored by all students in the array. Display only the first mark scored by all students. What will you do? What will be the change? So it just slices the count is one. It just displays the first mark, first subject mark in the array. Okay. The next question is: Display the last subject mark. I have five marks. Display the last subject mark. So the index for the last subject starts from minus one. So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So if I want to display the last subject mark, I just give a minus one here. So that's the last subject mark. I want to display the last two subject marks. What will be the query? It's minus two. So from the last, display the last two subject marks. so you can very well effectively use the dollar slice in the projection um, for arrays very interesting okay here is another question display the mark scored by a student by name jeff in the very first subject in the exam for jeff display the student uh, display the mark in the first subject so we will go and write this query it's uh, db dot student dot find and then we we'll have the name to be uh, chef here and then what is the criteria it's a projection now we are going to do that is from the marks we are going to do a dollar slice and then we are going to just display the first thing yeah are there any more things yeah are you all clear display the student who has appeared only in three subjects there is one student who got deep part for two subjects right the display the student who has appeared only in three subjects so how can you go and display that we'll go with this uh, particular uh, um, operator dollar size so i'll tell you how to do that db.student.find and display only the student who has appeared in uh, three subjects right so we'll give marks and then dollar size So it just takes into account the marks array with the size of three. So this guy Tom has appeared only in three subjects. Is this clear? We have taken so many exercises here. We'll take up these two queries and we'll wind up. Display all the students who scored more than fifty marks in at least one subject. We have five subject marks there. If that student has scored greater than fifty in at least one subject, you display that student record. So for this, you have to go with this uh, operator dollar element match. So you give the array call it dollar element match call it. and then you open parenthesis and give the condition here what is the condition dollar greater than 50 okay we'll just run this display all the students who scored and who scored more than 50 marks in at least one subject how to run that it's so db dot student dot find so we have to go and give this array name and we have to go and go with this operator dollar always when you use these operators give dollar e l e m m a t c h element match what it's going to match is bring me all the documents wherein the array is having a value greater than 50 so we have to close all the parentheses here so we have open 3 will close 3 so you can see here there are two Uh, students who scored greater than 50 marks in at least one of the subjects obviously we have 67 95 and uh, we have uh, 54 the very first subject so these two students satisfy the criteria so what we are going to use here dollar element match
The next part is display students who scored mark greater than 82 and less than 97. We can give multiple criteria here. Is there any one student who scored greater than uh, uh, 82 and less than 97? Again, we have to use the element match and go with multiple conditions there. How you go with this? DB dot student dot find, and then you are going to give marks, and then you are going to go with this dollar element match. And then what we are going to do is we are going to give the expressions here. One is it should be greater than eighty-two. Another condition is dollar less than ninety-seven. Is there any student who has put a mark within this range in any one of these subjects? So I have to close all these three. So there is one guy by name Jeff who has put ninety-five, which falls between eighty-two and ninety-seven. So any one of the marks satisfy that criteria, it will be brought into the output. Okay. Okay. With that, let me wind up.